back to another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet this super super cute plant holder basket as you can see right here i've seen quite a lot of these on the internet nowadays especially on instagram because i'm always on instagram and i decided to show you guys how to make it in crochet because it's quite easy and it's super quick as well and people use these ones to basically place little pots inside not these ones this one is glass so it's quite heavy for crochet but like the plastic ones with maybe fake plants and they hung it like this in a little nail on the wall and it looks super super cute and yeah this is how it looks like so i really hope you guys enjoy today's video so let's begin with today's project so i'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeters hook a tapestry needle so we can weave in all of the ends of the yarn and a small pair of scissors and for my yarn i'm going to be using this one right here is a 100 percent cotton yarn and is in this kind of like cream color right here which is my favorite yarn as well and i'm going to be linking that in the description below and this one is a full ply yarn you can do it in many different colors i did this one in green as you can see and it looks pretty nice you can do them like colorful and place it like on the wall it's gonna look really nice this one was just a little trial that i did with an acrylic yarn and it looks pretty nice as well if you place it like a fake plastic plant that is not too heavy or like a crochet plant maybe it's gonna hold quite well but if you want to place something a little bit heavier inside then i would suggest you guys using a cotton yarn and lastly i'm going to be using a few stitch markers so you can start with a magic ring or a chain of six i'm going to be doing a magic ring for this one because i didn't really like how this look as you can see here in the middle it can, it's kind of like a little hole so i'm going to be using a magic ring but if you don't you can start with a chain of six once you've done the magic ring you can go ahead and chain three and then going around here the magic ring we are going to be creating 10 double crochets 11 including the chain here at the beginning Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close the magic ring and we are going to be counting here one, two and three on the chain here at the beginning and on the third one we are going to be creating a slip stitch so we can close the circle. As you can see, I think it looks a little bit better. So now the next row we are going to be chaining three and into that same stitch here from the chain we are going to be creating a double crochet. And now here into every stitch from the previous row, we are going to be doing two double crochets into one stitch. And we are going to be doing that going all the way around. So two double crochets into every stitch here going around. If you have quite a large gap right here and basically you've covered all of the 11 stitches here from the previous row what you can do is instead of doing two double crochets into the very last one we are going to be doing one into the last one and then another one into this very very last one here close to the chain and then what we are going to be doing is just slip stitching right here into the chain just as we did into the previous row. So go up three chains. Into the same stitch right here, we are going to be creating a double crochet. And then into the next one, we are going to be creating only one double crochet. And then into the next one, two double crochets. And then into the next one, one double crochet next one two double crochets and you're just going to be repeating that all the way around so one and two one and two one and two going all the way around and then right here into my last one i'm just going to be creating one because that's my sequence and then i'm just going to be connecting here to the other side with a slip stitch so now for the next row which is number four so going up here three chains into that same one a double crochet and then we are going to be doing into the next two stitches we are going to be doing only one double crochet and then into the next one two double crochets 
So it's gonna be one, one and two, one, one and two, double crochets. And then you can just go all the way around and repeat the same. And then into my last one right here, I'm going to be doing two double crochets, which is also my sequence. And then connecting here to this side with a slip stitch. So what we are going to be doing now, it's marking with the stitch markers one stitch here at the bottom because we are going to be starting to create some decreases for the next rows. So we are going to be finding right the middle here at the bottom. So what I do, very simple, you don't have to, to count or anything. If you want, you can count, uh, but I don't usually. And I'm just going to be folding, as you can see, and I'm going to be placing a stitch marker right into the bottom middle stitch right here. And what you can do also getting your hook and also place it right here in the middle, as you can see, and you're gonna find the stitch. Very simple. So we are gonna go up here three chains, and we are not gonna be doing the increases anymore, we are just going to be doing the double crochets. So you can go ahead and create double crochets all the way down here to the stitch marker, one stitch before, then I'll show you guys how to do the increase here at the bottom. When you get here at the stitch marker, you're going to be removing the stitch marker. And into the next two stitches, we are going to be doing a decrease. So how you create a decrease? Yarn over, go through the next stitch, grab the yarn and keep it on the hook. You're going to be yarning over the next two loops here in the hook and keeping the yarn in the hook just like this. And then you're gonna do exactly the same into the next one. Yarn over, pull through, keeping that on the hook as you can see. And then you're going to be yarning over the next two loops here in the hook. Now we have three here in the hook and now we are going to be yarning over all of the three together. That's basically how you make a decrease. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and Continue your double crochets all the way up. You can return here the stitch marker to this stitch right here because we are going to be using this one for the next row as well. So I'm here into my last stitch, so I'm going to be creating double crochet and connecting here to the other side with a slip stitch. So now for the next row, guys, we have to place two more stitch markers so here we placed already the stitch marker back so here and here is going to be already a decrease so you're going to be counting one two three four on the fifth one here on the fifth stitch we are going to be placing another stitch marker because we are going to be doing another decrease right here and we are going to be counting here one two three and four on the fifth stitch here on this side we are going to be placing another stitch marker and remember that we have to do the decrease and not covering these four stitches here. So this decrease is gonna come on this side and this decrease is going to be starting on this side. So this one going forward, this one backwards. So for the next row, we are gonna go up three chains right here and we are going to be creating a double crochet right at the beginning. So we're going to be creating two double crochets right here into this very first stitch. And then we are going to be doing exactly the same into this stitch right here, which is the last one. And then you're going to be continuing creating the double crochets you have to do all the way to this stitch marker right here. And also make sure that you know if you need to do before or after the decrease. So I got here into my stitch marker. So here I have one, two, three, and four. So that's correct. This one, I'm gonna do it right here, the decrease. And then I'm gonna count one, two, three, and four. So I have to do my one here before the stitch marker. So I'm gonna do my first double crochet with a decrease. And then I'm gonna finish my decrease right here. And then we are going to be creating the double crochets here. The four double crochets in between here, the decreases. And then right here is our next decrease. And 
then you're gonna be continuing and then you're gonna be creating the four double crochets here in between the decreases and then into these two stitches here we are going to be creating another decrease and now you can just go ahead and go all the way up with the double crochets and then we are going to be doing the little increase with the double crochets right at the top into the very last stitch now into this very last stitch right here we are going to be creating three double crochets this is just going to be creating kind of a little point here at the top you will see what I mean and then connecting here to the other side with a slip stitch so now here for the last row we are going to be chaining one and then into the same stitch right here we are going to be creating two single crochets there we go and then a single crochet into the next double crochet right here and then a half double crochet into the next stitch so you're going to be creating the first part of the double crochet as you can see but instead of doing the double crochet you're just gonna yarn over all of the three loops so this is basically a half double crochet now from here until seven stitches we are going to be creating only double crochets so one double crochet on each stitch for seven stitches and before we continue with the rows we are going to be marking on this side here so we can stop with the decreases so here on this side we have one single crochet one half double crochet and seven double crochets so we're gonna have to repeat exactly the same into this side so you're going to be marking here nine stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine so into this one we are going to be placing a stitch marker because then here we are going to be creating the seven double crochets plus the half double crochet plus the single crochet right here so right here from this stitch all the way to this one right here right here we are going to be creating decreases exactly as i showed you guys but into all of these stitches right here not gonna match here the decreases so you can just go ahead and create a double crochet here into this last stitch right here and then remove the stitch marker and then you're going to be creating your seven double crochets into seven stitches and then you're going to be creating right here a half double crochet and then a single crochet right here and then you can just go ahead and slip stitch into any of the stitches right here so now we are going to be creating this little loop here right at the top so we are going to be chaining 10 and then you're gonna go back into this stitch right here and create a slip stitch we are going to be slip stitching right here into the next stitch any that you can find right at the top of the basket we are going to be turning here and we are going to be creating single crochets going around this little loop here at the top you guys don't have to follow any numbers right here just have to basically cover this part here with single crochets make sure that it's nice and tight because it looks a little bit nicer so once you're happy with the amount of single crochets, I did here 15 single crochets. You can go ahead and slip stitch into any of the stitches here from the side. Chain one and you can fasten off. And now here for the wrap around right at the top, we are going to be getting the same yarn. You're going to be placing it into any of the stitches here from the side then you can go ahead and create a little knot right here and now very simple you're just gonna go around here right at the top Go 
ahead and cut a little bit here on the side of the yarn. You can go through one stitch right here. And then you're just going to be basically creating a chain and pulling the yarn right here and you can fasten off. And I'm going to be doing that twice. And now the last thing we have to do guys is just basically weave in all of the yarns here around our little basket plant holder <laughs> so you're gonna thread your yarn needle you're gonna go through a few stitches and now you're just gonna go into another stitch right here and go back and weave in back again this is just gonna make it more secured in place now you can just go ahead and cut this remaining right here so now you can just go ahead and do the same with these two right here and we are done so this is how the little plant holder basket looks like as you can see because of my yarn and because this one is basically a cotton yarn it turned out to be a tiny little bit bigger than the green one because this one is an acrylic yarn. They are the same yarn weight. This one is a full ply, this one is also a full ply, but this one is 100% cotton and this one is acrylic. And acrylic tend to go a little bit smaller than cotton. And as you may already know, I'm posting quite a lot of things on my uh, community page here on YouTube. I've opened a little shop page on my website and I'm going to be starting to sell some little things there for you guys and this one these two here will be on the website if you guys want to buy them so if you guys are interested to buy and support the channel i'm going to be linking down in the description below the link for you guys to buy them feel free to check it out so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon on my next video bye bye